Please subscribe to Tutorial Mart channel and tap the bell icon to get all the latest updates whenever I upload the video. Now I am going to discuss a C program to find largest of three numbers. Uh, we have already seen the program for finding the largest of three numbers while we were studying the concept of nested if else. It was important to study the nested if else concept so I took a program example of finding the largest of three numbers there. If you want to study that program the link is given in the description of the video as well as the link is flashing above in the right above corner of the screen you can directly navigate to that video from there. Okay but for the time being I want to explain you a much smaller and much easier concept through which you can find the largest of three numbers and the concept is that we will use the simple if method using the simple if method only we can find the largest of three numbers and you can see it is a very short program and it is a very obvious kind of a program but for competitive exams I recommend you to watch that nested if else program because it will clear many more major concepts also in your mind that are necessary for competitive exams this is a very obvious program it is very easy and you will understand it very soon come on let's begin it suppose here the pro main function starts and here it ends you can include the necessary header files while executing it so in the first statement I have taken four variables integer type a b c max so like this the memory will be allocated and all these memory locations will hold integers then printf enter the value for a b and c like this enter the value of a b and c will be printed directly on your console output black screen then scanf percentage d percentage d percentage d address of a address of b address of c that means whatever we will enter it will be stored at the addresses of a b and c respectively suppose i enter 1 7 9 these three values are entered then 1 will get assigned to a because first we are referring to the address of a then 7 will be assigned to b because second time we are addressing the b and 9 will be assigned to c likewise then say the statement this is a important statement for this program max is equals to a that means in the max I have copied the value of a a will get copied to max but is a a is 1 so max will also hold a 1 now if b is greater than max so this is a simple if because for this there is no else part and similarly there is one more if after this if gets over for this if also there is no else part so it is a simple if construct now if b is greater than max what is b b is 7 and max is 1 b is 7 max is 1 7 is greater than 1 yes the if condition is true when the if condition is true its block will get executed then max will get the value from b that means the value of b will be copied to max now max is having 1 but when b is copied to max max will now hold the value of b that is 7 that is now max will update its value to 7 now this part of the program is over now again one if statement is encountered if c is greater than max yes c is having 9 and max is having 7 again the if condition is true when the if condition is true its block will get executed max is equals to 7 c so c's value will get copied to max c is having 9 and max will thus now hold 9 so now the last statement printf largest of percentage d comma percentage d and percentage d is percentage d so what is this exactly a will go to the first percentage d b will go to the second and c will go here max will go here so the output will be largest of value of a is 1 comma percentage d will get value of b 7 and then and this percentage d will get 9 is this percentage d will get max that is 9 so largest of 1 7 and 9 is 9 the program has found out the largest of three numbers using the simple if method two times. We have used simple if construct two times, one this time and one this time. Now, I want to tell you one more concept that is important as well doing C programming. The concept is that if only single statement is associated with the if part. Here only one statement is associated that means the block is having only one statement. Here also the block is having only one statement. If the block has one statement only, you can skip writing these braces. Simple. 
why because we employ the braces why we do this braces because this braces mean a compound statement a compound statement means more than one statement will be added to a single set and the single set will be considered as a single statement if you remember i told you when you want to associate more than one statement and regard the four five statement the multiple statement as a single statement only i told you that put them in a block then this whole block is considered as a single statement but if there is already a single statement then why to put a block because a single statement can always come but if more than one statement have to be executed with this if then we put it in block so if there is a single statement we can skip writing the braces but if there are two or three statements associated with the if part then we have to put the block this is the concept so actually in this program we can skip this braces i hope you have cleared your concept so i hope you have cleared your concepts about how to build a program to find largest of three numbers using the simple if construct and i hope you will practice the concept that is done for the nested if else also for the same program the links for the video is given in the description of the video i want to tell you that please watch the description of my every video because in the description of the video you may find many other important links also you may find the code of the program discussed you may find notes of the topic discussed and many other things please watch the description and if you like my video please hit the like button please share the video with your friends and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button also thank you